Hi, so I know you've been asking me to put things, so it makes it easy for you to choose your vial. I got no stones, and you know how I feel about snacks. I love them so much. So I got here five vials. This reading is going to be about why are they being mean towards you? Why are they mean? Why? Why are they mean? Like, if you want to know. So I choose your vial. We got vial number one, and we got vial number two. We got vial number three, vial number four, vial number five. <laughs> So yeah, choose your bio. Let's start with bio number one. I'm gonna remove the items because they're very too much here on the table. Can I eat this chips later? And this one is my favorite. So here we got five piles. Let's start with bio number one. Why are they being mean towards you, bio number one? Uh, number one, where are they? Someone died here. Uh, or wait, wait. Let's just not jump before everything. Remember, it's a general reading. Take what resonates. Leave us not yours, and just follow your intuition to know how to apply the situation, to apply the story on your situation, and know uh, by your intuition if it fit your situation or not. So here, where are they being mean? Someone here. Someone. I'm hearing a lot of things here. So where's my pen? Yeah. Uh, some for some of you not all of you someone passed away in their family recently or like before a year or two years or three years so after that they are just being like mean towards everyone and they are doubting everyone oh my god so they are doubting everyone and everything for others of you I'm not sure why I keep seeing like that so that another reading I'm not sure how that gonna resonate but some farts i feel no 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 i feel and no, i got it was but trying to tell me. it's like uh something bad happened to them like in their atmosphere where they live something just like irritates them it could be also that they be mean because of the situation they have been locked up inside the house and they are just like or something like they have a lot of drama around their family and things that you don't know about that you're not aware of like going on around them in their house like in their environment that very stressful for them and it's not they don't show that but this is why they're being mean towards you i feel this person actually is a really happy person this person is always happy always trying to do things like they are very active socially i'm here and also they they can make people happy around them they're very loving they are th that's the kind of person who always approach people to be like hey i love you i like that about you but sometimes some things are just like different now because of the situation they're going through it's like it's like now i feel like this person is like why are they being mean so they just doubt that everyone is just worth their their love and time and also because of the situation they don't know if their happiness is there or not so it's like this that's why this person sometimes being mean because they doubt sometimes it could be like they doubt in you they doubt in the situation how we're gonna go how we're gonna end up uh how we're gonna end up and they are doubting this like if it's the right thing to do with you. It feels like this person was like giving people love and they weren't like the right people. I'm saying like a lot of flavors, like they weren't even the right flavor or the right person for me or something. I just feel like uh, this person feels like whatever they are, wherever, whatever they are, I feel like situation and people are just weird for them. It's like, um, person feel like why am i giving people love or something and they're not happy like me all the time are they not giving me the love back feel like people doubting them or just thinking something or just people always like they feel like people are always like if they feel like people are always like so dead to them that's why they are now being mean it's like i don't want people to mess up my energy anytime it's like because i'm I'm always happy like that and then I go approach someone and they just doubt my happiness and they doubt why am I like this or give them love and all they give me is fart. They fart on my face. That's the fart that I saw. It's like that. So that's why this person's being mean. They don't want to like have bad energy around them anymore. They feel... So let's... File number two. Why this person or those people being mean to you? Maybe you chose for a bunch of people school 
So Jen, no reading. Take what resonates, leave what's not yours. If the story applies to your situation, congratulations. If it doesn't, just use your intuition to apply this energy on your situation and use your intuition to know if the if this message is for you. So bow number two, why this person is being mean? This person have a huge crush on you for some of you. That's why they're being mean because they think you know, sometimes you you act really messed up or you do a lot of games yeah. or they think that they don't know where they stand with you or you make them sick for some of you. It's like they look at you and they, they love you so much that you make them sick so they decide to, to uh, be mean toward you. I'm not seeing like this person do it purposely though. This person is like... Uh, like you make them sick and then they, it's like they don't understand why you make them feel sick and then they look at the reason why you make them sick and that's when they become mean towards you. This person got, they know a lot of things about you that you don't know yourself. This person is like becoming really judgmental towards you and you're not understanding why are they being judgmental. It's because they know a lot of things or this person thinks that they know a lot of things or they just assume things that uh, that's why they are being mean they assume things about you that's why they're being mean it's like i feel sick maybe because she or he did that that's why this person have like they feel a lot of they feel a connection towards you but sometimes they whenever they take the strength to come toward you something happen and then they feel sick and then they'll be like oh my god uh, this is not the right person or i'm feeling this way because this person did that or did that or that like, they just look at their vomit. I'm not sure why. So that's so gross. It's like, that. why did I throw up? Because of this. I ate this and I did that and I did that. Okay, that's why. Then they become mean. It's like, I shouldn't give that and that. Something like that about this person. Uh, uh, what else they're being mean? They're being mean because they think that you've been, like, giving attention to everyone except them or something like that. They find it really weird. It's like, why are you talking to everyone, but you just ignore me? Like, the fuck is going on? So this person just decided to be mean. And this person I've seen, this person's like really taking everything. I don't know, I saw the vomit and everything that it made them sick, that you made them sick. They feel like you made them sick in a way. So they take everything, they want to take everything and just wrap it on your face and make you sick back. Something like that. This person was like that. That's why they're being mean. Also, it's this cool backyard for some of you. You've been playing for with other people and you're not giving attention to them. Or like at university. That's why they are being like mean towards you. So that's it for bio number two. Let's move on to bio number three. Why are they being mean, bio number three? Bio number three, I tell you. When I was shuffling this by, I felt a lot of things. Uh, it's a general general reading. Just take what resonates, leave what's not yours. If the story doesn't apply to your situation, don't force it to be. This person is being mean toward you. I'm not sure why I heard this person is a gangster. This person is, is like, really, like, the personality is just, like, I'm not sure why I heard that. Their personality is mean. Their ass, their attitude is mean. It's like they don't try to be mean, they're just mean. They're just the mean. When they talk, they are the mean shit. When they talk. I feel like something when, something like this person is like used to talking like this. It's, they are used to being mean towards people. They just don't see harm in it. They have like, they are very sarcastic. They joke a lot and people, they think people are being extra sensitive toward them. They don't, they don't understand why. This person is like, Whenever someone is not sensitive, they like it. So if they like you, they just joke a really mean joke towards you or something like that. Sometimes this person could be like that. Could be an Aries. This person also could be a fire sign. I don't, don't just focus on signs. But also I feel like this person is like, um, they take it, they take, they like, they like something, see like a lot of apples. They take the apple that they like. Let's say they like you, they take it and then because they like you so much, they just bite you, bite you, bite you. They bite you a lot. It's like they pick on you a lot. It's like, this is how this person, like, you know, <laughs> energy. This is how they communicate. This is how, who they are. How they, how, how can I say, how they, what the fuck? 
someone here a farm from a farm or lives in a farm or this person lives in a farm or you live in a farm something like that this person personality is like that seriously if you get get to know them better you'll know that they don't mean no harm they just joke around with you and they just want you to joke back they sometimes seem harsh and you get sensitive but don't get sensitive this person is not serious about things that they say it's just like they have this dry humor that you wouldn't understand like with time you understand why they said that those things they're like if you see their face, then you will know. Some of you, it could be like a, a online communication. For others of you, this person also, like when you talk to them in person, they have this poker face, like you cannot read them. They'd be mean. But I'm saying like this person, like a, they got this gangster, like really criminal vibe in them, but they're not. It's like something about their childhood, like you don't know. It's mysterious about this person. Like they don't show it. But this is how they talk. They are mean, they are harsh because of something happened to them when they are like kids. This is how everyone and their family and everyone talks to them. Are like This is how everyone communicates. They joke so hard, they're very rough. It's like violent, 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 and it's like that. This is how everyone communicates. They don't see harm in it. They joke really like, so that's why they're very, very dry and sarcastic. For some of you might don't know about this person, that they really like... Uh, admire something about you and also like this person got like really if you if you want to know this person more and more you realize they have like some kind of dark past they have like some kind of dark 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 history in their family or something that you you don't know you're not aware of it's not showing it's not really showing for everyone this person doesn't talk about their dark history something like really dark but if you get to know this person you will know this is how they keep things light they joke really hard toward things like this is how they are like this is how their personality this person i feel like this is kind of person who this is like i see seriously i see a movie like this person personality you wouldn't know they would think they're being mean but not this is the kind of person who's like i know it's terrible i know it's terrible that's why i just listen to it it's like where like you go into a room and people are shooting each other inside a place this person will take the gun and shoot back at them and they will just like think it's a game and they'll start laughing and they will hide like uh, behind the sofa and shoot back and they will laugh and when you when things are over they will get out of the room and they will just think like fuck what a night, something like that. This person, I know it's terrible, but when you know this person, you will know how they're, I know it's extreme, but seriously, I'm feeling some extreme things that you didn't, you didn't know about this person. They have some kind of either families or really criminal that you don't know about. This person got a lot of secret, like a lot of dark things that made them feel like this, like made them who they are. So they're not naturally, like they're not mean. They have, I feel like someone have really a warm heart, but this is how they are. They're very rough. They're very rough. They're kind of cute also. So this is how they, they show like interest in you. They pick on you and things like that. Just say back things. Like if they, they say something, just talk back to them like that. Just keep it floating. They will laugh. Uh, yeah, this person is like that. So for others of you, this person also want to give you something. They're just waiting if you're going to be extra sensitive. This person, oh my God, is I'm not sure why I hear this person's like saying, is this dummy going to be more sensitive now or are they just going to talk back to me? Like, I'm not, they not saying it. I know it sounds harsh, but they say it in a way that they love you. It's like, is this dummy with a smile? This person is really harsh. <laughs> oh my god but it's like this person is like saying oh my god they are really cute if you get to know them they they give you a lot of love but this is how they talk they want you to, they talk like that and it's like this is how they everyone talks around them but if you talk back to them it's like what am i a dummy it's like yeah and they really smile at you then they say they love you just like that they you know they will not don't mean it you when you know them you will know better what they are uh, how they are so let's move on to bio number four why are they being mean towards you? Bar number four. Why are they being mean towards you? Bar number four. Uh, please remember, it's a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what's not yours. This person is like, um, just follow your intuition to know if that story applies to your situation. And uh, just take the energy applied on your situation. This person thinks, well, this person I see here, also four again with the sex. This person is being mean because they feel like you want something more out of them and they 
cannot give you emotion for some reason they don't see a way to to come forward and put work in this relationship or this situation so that's why they're being mean uh, so also this person is being mean towards you because they feel like you are leading them on it's weird because they feel like they are the one who's doing that they feel like you don't want anything bad back from them or something like that so i feel like they're the one who who's not giving you like emotions not giving you feelings and they feel like uh you want like you're not gonna give them back the love that they will give you so it's like this person is very like in their head and they oh, this prayer is like really distracting me right now so i feel like uh yeah it's like they feel like you're trying to distract them from something and uh from the truth i'm here and that's why they're being mean it's like they feel like you're trying to seduce them out of situation or out of the life i feel like this person like they see you like that but actually their life is just like really messy because i see their life is like full of bitches full of partying full of some meaningful things like i see like this person are surrounded by people who he doesn't feel i feel like there's low vibration disgusting really they this person like really like to impress people with a lot of things that doesn't make sense it's like i have that i have that and you don't know why so this person's being mean towards you because they feel like you want to take take them out of this life like the fuck i don't want to do that something like that it's like this person also like because you see they have this kind of some kind of addiction devilish way of thinking that's not true so they don't see like another way to give you this offer and but 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 the, the effort so i feel for some of you this person been ghosting you because they feel like uh i feel like you're the one who have been waiting for them to put to put emotions and love but Oh, God, this uh, prayer is really distracting me, to be honest. And I feel like really, I'm not sure what is it, but I feel really angry with this pile. I feel like you could be angry at this person or this person is angry at you because they feel like you're not, you don't want to give up to them or something like that. I feel like this person wants you to put, to put more effort in this relationship. This person is very conflicted. Like there's a lot of thoughts that doesn't make sense in their brain. It seems like whatever you think that they're doing to you, they think that you want to do it to them. So that's why it's like this person's really stupid. I feel like really stupid energy. This person thinks that they don't want to put in the work in this relationship. Energy could be reversed because they think that you're not going to take, you're not going to put much work in this relationship and you're not going to like uh, give them the love back they think that you're just gonna seduce them and leave them something like that so they just wanted to stick around with you something like that till uh, it's like i don't know they didn't want to give you love this pile so that's why they're being mean they didn't want to give you love because all the things that you did they saw it as you trying to mislead them or take advantage of them i'm not sure i heard advantage or take them away from some kind of life and then you're gonna you're gonna take them away and then once you take them away you're just gonna work your way out or something like that this person is like that's why they're being mean i feel really angry with this pile i'm very very angry like seriously angry I feel either that you're very angry at this person or this person is very angry at you it's like um I feel like this person currently gossiping about how you just up and left them. And I know that they are the one who did everything, like the bad thing. So they're saying that you up and left them and this is what they expected you to do. Something like that. This person's really annoying. I feel really someone really dumb, really stupid. Also, this person is like, uh, they got, they say things like, I got, like, I see a lot of people gonna give me love. I can take my love from everyone else. I don't need anyone to give me love back or something like that. But actually, the love that they think that they're gonna get from everyone is nobody's giving them that love and they cannot touch it. It's like you've been giving them love and born at their, like, ego or something like that, but they didn't give you back. And also, they were trying to be mean because they feel like, they can't get whatever they want from you till you leave till you leave them i feel like this is disgusting like they were like i'm gonna take love from him or her uh, as much as i want because i know all women are like that or all men are like that she gonna leave it was like this person is really disgusting that's why they were being me because they have this toxic evil way of thinking they think that they're whatever they're doing was okay Oh, fuck this person. So let's move on to bile number five. 
hope that prayer stops because it's just really distracting. So bar number five. Uh, please remember it's a general energy. Just take what resonates, leave us not yours. If the story doesn't apply to your situation, don't force it to be, okay? Oh my God. I want the prayer to, prayers to stop because it's just really distracted me. So here. Uh, battle number five. Why are they being mean towards you? This person's being mean towards you because seriously, first of all, this person been like watching your media or watching you online, or watching you doing something. And this person doesn't like the attention that you get. They feel like you get a lot of attention from men, a lot of love offer. They feel like you uh, get in like, you're very hot, you're very seductive. They feel that like men, I'm not sure why if you're a woman or like could be women, but I feel like they, they see men like rubbing their dick on your pictures. I'm not sure why, like jerking off on your pictures or your videos and they don't like that feeling. Or see women like really wanting you or something like that. Could be like energy could be reversed. Also, this mm, this person is being mean. I feel like they're not really actually being mean, like really for some of you, like really hard. But for some of you, this person also could be a bunch of people, but they are just being mean because uh, they're just ghosting you or something like that, just symbol like that. Also, some of you, this person has been hearing a lot of gossip about you, a lot of opinions that don't match up. I'm seeing like people talking about you this way, this way, and this way. There's a lot of opinion about you. They are the kind of person who people will talk shit about like in a different way. Like some people will Love you some people will hate you some people will find you this way it's like like the stories doesn't match you know that's like haters whatever so this person is like i feel for some of you they wanted a relationship with you or they wanted to come back to you or something like that but now they don't want to see this offer coming because of this gossip that they hear they also think that people are coming towards you a lot like storm i'm seeing like a lot of people coming to to you like a storm like i'm not sure why it's like you have a storm of men or women coming towards you all the time and this person is like with the gossip and all this attention that you're getting this person doesn't want to take this offer offer because they feel like uh you you have all kind of flavors to be honest the first time i noticed it's banana vanilla strawberry you have all kind of men or women around you and this person is like paranoid being really paranoid i see someone paranoid they're just holding their head like do I want that in my life? Do I want this person in my life? Like, she or he got a lot of attention from everyone. They got a lot of gossip. Like, all they got a lot of attention. It's like you're an attention magnet. You don't try hard to get attention, but you're like an attention magnet. Like, everyone is noticing you. Everyone is talking about you. No matter where you go, if you go somewhere new, people will talk about you. People will talk about your business. Like, like the, it's their business. You're the kind of person who people always talk about. It's like, you don't know why. You don't, like, you just post one picture and people talk about you. It could be like sitting, eating, or it could be like simply just sitting outside in Starbucks, drinking your coffee or reading a book. People will just gossip about, did you see what book she, could, she was reading or he was reading? Something like that. Like, you feel like people not gossip about anyone else. Like, all oh, the weirdos sitting next to me, but they gossip about me. It's just weird. That's why this person see like you get a lot of attention. So that's why they are being mean like towards you because they feel like they cannot decide if they want you or not because of the attention. They're the kind of person who like that they get a lot of attention, but they 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 like their like you know peace without gossip. But it's not your fucking fault. Like what can you do? People are just like attracted to you like magnet and talk about your business. Like you did nothing. It's not your fault, you know. And I feel like this person starting to realize that for some of you. I know I said it, but it feels like that. I see this person is like really like very like he thinks or she thinks like they're very stable they got no gossip around them they just keep things clean like it's not that it's like this person people don't gossip about this person i'm not sure why this is their personality just like that and uh, they just like to not talk much with people or something they try to keep their space like away from people and stuff like that but you you get a lot of attention like can like you don't even like it's not your fault like it's not your fault what can i say it's not your fault like it's not your fault like my milkshake like you know the song my milkshake bring all the i don't know what to the yard i forgot the song <laughs> And they just then it's like not your fault, something like that. So this person is like currently don't want to see this offer because they think like 
you get a lot of attention and also they are watching you doing something yeah you're doing something but like this person is like yeah you're doing that yeah you're doing that of course you're doing that of course i feel like they are looking at you doing something of course you're doing that of course you get more attention of course this person is following you back of course i don't know what this person's like attitude like this you don't know they're not talking to you or something like that this person think that you're like you get too much they think that your your face oh my gosh for some of you this person think that you use your face to get attention the fuck you know what i remember a story with this bile i know it's like i don't share i'm not the kind of reader who would like stop and talk about my life or things like that but it could be like relevant uh i remember a story like i liked this man i was like uh, dancing like at this club and it was like night and then i just like met him he was a bartender and we talked like and we dated or something like that and then one time he got really jealous or really mad at me or something I'm not sure, I don't remember exactly, but he said, like, hey, you flirt with men, I don't know, like he said, you flirt with men with the, with your eyes or something like that, and I don't know if he said it the first time we met, also I was drunk or something, he's like, you flirt with men with your eyes, and I was like thinking, the fuck, this is like, I know men said a lot of things about me, but how the fuck am I flirting with my eyes, like, the fuck, it's like, yeah, this is what you do, you seduce men with your eyes, or you flirt with men with your eyes, so it's kind of like that, it's like, you do, you don't, you were, like, so drunk, I was so drunk and high, <laughs> but I wasn't flirting or doing anything, like, I don't know if I was high or not, no, I, I didn't smoke back then, I didn't smoke, I was only drinking, but I was too drunk, like, how the fuck would I just flirt with men, it's like, this is the situation, it's like, you don't, you don't do things, but it's like, this is the way you are, like, and this person is, like, seeing you like this right now, he's seeing you, like, you get attention by that, and that, and that, and they're confused in their head, because of all of this gossip they hear about you, it's like, this person keeping themselves, like, really fucked up in their head right now, because of the gossip, hear people saying things about you, people that, and and that's why they're being mean toward you. Because they don't know if they want this attention in their life. Because the moment they will talk to you, everyone will talk about them talking to you. Something like that. Maybe for some of you, I feel like you don't even know that all of this going on. You know, but you don't know how extreme it, it is because you don't give a fuck, actually. So it's like, whatever. So that's it for bond number five. I hope you liked it. Like and subscribe. And if you want a personal reading, just email me. Say, hey, I want personal reading. Yeah? Okay.